today is a build that I am very excited for and was requested by one of you. So I will be doing a windmill today and there's going to be flower fields in front of it and it's going to have a very Netherlands type feel. Hopefully, hopefully that's the goal. Um, but I am very excited for that. Windmills are a little tricky because, you know, the, the, the fins... I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. I've seen a few different techniques that people have used, so I'll probably use one of those. Today's palette is very brown. Um, spruce seems to be, in my mind, the best wood choice for the building itself. Um, we'll be using dripstone as an extra block, probably like in the foundation, stuff like that, um, along with dark oak for the roof, um, birch trap doors for the sails, I think, we'll, we'll consider that, reconsider that possibly when we get there, um, packed mud for the pathways in the flower fields, and then probably birch wood as like a lighter detail piece. was a lot of uh, Pinterest inspiration in the structure and some of the stuff around outside, but modified it, made it my own, and the inside's nothing special whatsoever. There's a grindstone. It goes up to the top where there's a little balcony for servicing. The, you know, barrels. This is literally it. But it is a windmill. But these flower fields... They took forever, especially because I did myself the disservice of deciding that I wanted 
farmland. Which made this take ten times longer and I had to put water in. But it's fine. It looks pretty and I like it. The sales were interesting and I had already made the mistake of using an even number in the building. So like this this front area like it's four wide which made the center of the windmill a little interesting but it worked out i added a little horse and cart and a little pile of crates and things kind of like we did over at the cafe yesterday this one was a fun exercise because it really was important having the exterior details both because there is no interior, but also like they give a they give the vibe and like the function of what this windmill is. Anyways, this was a long project. I had a lot of fun, but I am tired. So if you built along, please do let me know in the comments and go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying this content so that you can continue enjoying it as we go along. I'll see you for tomorrow's, and as the sun sets, I will say goodbye.